yeah, I recognize this. That Venezuela emptied out their maximum security prisons and sent them over here. Now, do you guys believe me? I've been saying this for approximately a year and a half. Telling y'all that these people were crossing and they were crossing with all types of things. And now the government is saying that we're not only in danger because those gangs are here, but Mara Salvatrucha, the Central American gang, is also committing so many crimes and they're extremely well established. Take a look at this video. We're in big trouble here. I mean, the, these are two of the most dangerous gangs on the planet. They are prison spawn gangs. They, they come out of the muck and the slime of these South American prisons, which are their stronghold. They are on the lowest rung of the evolutionary ladder when it comes to organized crime. That means they're all strictly street crime, which is dangerous. They bring with them just mindless, knuckle-dragging violence. They kill with knives and machetes. MS-13 is well established. They're going to be the more dominant of the two gangs. They've been here for quite a while. And as you say, Dana, we knocked them down in, in the late 2000s with, a, with a, just an international effort. But now they're coming back in and they're reestablishing themselves. And that bodes ill for law enforcement across the country. We're going to be living with this crime wave for decades. And I believe that Venezuela is emptying their prisons deliberately and sending these people up here, just like Castro did in the 80s. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Koho layam la. Abanawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakak Kwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you, speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So it's no coincidence. It's no surprise. Okay, that this is happening. Order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. This is all a part of of the agenda to bring forth their new desire their new nwo okay so what do they have to do they have to cause kham uh, uh mayhem so like it uh, uh all types of uh affliction all types of wickedness all types of evil all types of uh uh, uh discomfort okay uh, uh they have to make the uh uh the crime rate uh, uh skyrocket man it has to be very, very high. So what way to do it is just to bring in these so-called illegal immigrants, which a lot of these people uh, that, that are coming from these uh, certain places are actually people that, you know, had this land before these red silverback gorillas. OK, so it's all part of the agenda. It's not no the FBI, the Congress, the president, the government in general knows what the hell is going on because they're the ones calling the shots. They're the ones opening up the borders and uh, uh, telling the people to send these uh, uh, so-called prisoners and everybody else to uh, Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay, when the real, the, the real criminals, the real cancer of the earth, are these people that you see on the screen right here talking. Okay, talking about you know MS-13, this and that, and, 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 you know, and not to say Jake isn't you know wicked as hell, which he is, but the real goddamn problem on the earth are you so-called white people, man. Okay, and you work evil upon your beds, man. Okay, this is something that you practice daily, man. That that's your that's your whole thought process is to bring forth wickedness, man. Okay, to make people uh you know have a life full of hellish conditions, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. But you know the, uh, us us of the hopeful elect that have been awoken up by Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah, let's let the scripture speak. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Least Satan, okay, the adversary, the goddamn devil, okay, the deceiver, 
should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices so we understand the agenda we understand how he's pinpointing things and how he's moving we know what the fuck is going on okay but the people in babylon the great two-thirds of our people these other heathens they they don't understand why these things are happening they don't they don't understand why this the government is letting these things happen when again it's all a part of the plan it's a part of the agenda you know uh order out of chaos bring forth uh a lot of things so you can accomplish your goals man okay this is already in in written in the books for this things for these things to occur man okay you know a a, a sedition amongst men the insurrections in cities okay the uh uh, uh, uh you know ki people killing one another for bread for comfort for warmth for all types of things that's going to be brought forth very for, uh, very soon, Salakia. Okay, but we're not ignorant of these things, okay? Because Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai has enlightened and edified and forewarned us of these things to come, man. Okay, we're the ones out here warning you, you know, speaking through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. Because we already see what's happening, man. And furthermore, we're not worried. You know, we're embracing... And, and, and asking Yahabah Shim Yahweh Shah to bring these things forth so we can get the fuck out of this hellhole, man. Okay, while you other uh, uh, Babylonians and you, you know, you wicked Israelites and you uh, uh, heathens are, are completely confused, man. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're thanking the Lord for uh, for bringing, bringing forth these uh, things to uh, uh, Esau Edom's uh, uh, mental mindset, man. Okay. Because it has to happen, man. And this, this, this is the devil's MO, man. He'll use... Let's let's just get the scripture, man. Let's just get the scripture. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 13. I'm going to read verse 4. If thou be for his prophet, okay, so it's part of his prophet to have these prisoners coming from Venezuela to be released out of jail. And not only not only the South America, I'm pretty sure, you know, Central America too and everything else. Because this, this is so-called MS-13 they're talking about right now. Okay, which I've, I've, you know, growing up in, you know, obviously a Babylon, the Great America, I've had encounters with MS-13, and I actually knew a couple of uh, uh, head honchos in MS-13. Okay, because you, you must not forget, you know, majority of these of these people are, are, are all of our nation. Okay, Sirach 13 verse 4. If thou be for his prophet. Because again, this is this is towards Esau's agenda. It's towards his goals, man. So you're part of his prophet. So he's going to use uh, our, our people to bring forth mayhem, chaos, to bring forth uh, uh, more criminal acts, to um, <coughs> bring forth lawlessness on the, on the soils of Babylon, man. To bring forth meth. Uh, it's like a death. Mayhem, chaos. Again, man. Okay? He will use thee but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee again. So Rock 13 verse 4. If thou be for his prophet, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. And he's using our people again to bring forth his agenda, man. Esau is nothing but a fucking user, man. This, these are the most laziest, worthless nation on the planet, man. You Edomites, man. You so-called superclaimed white people, man. You some lazy sons of bitches, man. Okay? These people are, and you know what, and obviously too, this, this is their rulership, so they're supposed to be, you know, lazy and, you know, uh, not know, not, 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 not know how to have a, uh, or do a hard days of work with their hands, man. So, you know, in actual reality, you know, they have the right to be lazy because this is their kingdom right now, but they're going to use anybody and everybody to make sure their, their, their pedant, so like their, their plans are being, um, produced. Okay, are being um, you know successfully uh, uh, processed and moving forward, man. Okay, because look, man, this man, you know, he already stole the world. Now he wants to steal your soul. He wants to, you know, uh, uh, for you to bow down to him. It's the book of Saint John, chapter ten, verse ten. The thief. Okay, because this man is a culture vulture. He's a thief. Okay, he takes everybody's resources, take everybody's heritage. He's everybody else besides himself. Okay, he steals, robs, kills, all that, man. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill. Okay? And what does he want to steal right now? He wants to steal your freedom, your liberty, 
that little delusion that he has given you for so many decades upon decades, man. He wants to steal that from you now. Okay? And and and, and, and it's not going to be nothing for him to kill, rape, rob, and murder, man. Okay? And that's also a part of the agenda, too, to, to decrease the population, man. Okay? That's part of the MO. That's part of the, uh, the plan, man. Okay? So he wants to steal... That delusion, that little bit of freedom that he has given you, the liberty for you to be able to do what you've been doing now, all that is being, you know, uh, 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 taken away. It's going to come to a point where it's like China, where it's going to be a social credit score. Okay, and it's also going to be 15-minute cities. Uh, cities. Okay, yeah, this this man is is, is he, he wants you to go up. He wants he he wants your captivity, your bondage. Uh, your slavery to be uh, 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 concealed, man. And, and, and in the midst of that, he wants you to bow down to him and to reverence him as your power. Okay? But let's close out because, you know, the point is made. I ain't going to go too deep into it. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 5. His ways are always grievous, so every way how we handle things, how we governs the earth, you know, how the food is, uh, 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 the food production, the ju the judicial system, the education system, everything in Babylon the Great uh, is grievous, man. Nothing is righteous, man. Everything is uh, 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 is vexing to your spirit. It's it's a, a it's a complete discomfort. Okay, this man is not how this does not know how to rule. Uh, in balance and damn sure not in righteousness man okay everything is off course everything is just you know a uh, uh, completely out of order man okay his ways are always grievous thy judgments are far above out of his sight okay because his judgments is just you know just unbearable man They're horrible terrible man dreadful man this 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 uh, uh nation uh, uh these Edomites man they they just they just uh, uh all about them man they don't care about your emotions how you feel how you live in nothing man it's all about them man their judgments is just you know completely wicked man as for all his enemies he puffeth at them at them okay as for all his enemies he puffeth at them and that's what you see him doing right now man bringing these so called uh, uh, immigrants, migrants, aliens, as they say, into the country. He's basically uh, bucking at you, uh, 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 you Babylonians, which is his enemies, and letting you know that he don't give a damn how what you go through, how you feel. If you have to say something about what what he's doing, he don't give a damn. He's gonna continue to do what he's gonna do, and he and, 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 and you know what he's saying? Who gonna stop me? That's what he's telling you, Babylonians, you two third Israelites. Who the fuck gonna stop me? It ain't gonna be you. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And you can just sit back and shut the fuck up. That's what he's saying, man. That's exactly what he's saying to you Israelites and you heathen, man. Be puffing up at you, man. Okay? So, hey, man. It is what it is, man. And we, we, we welcome it. We embrace it. We're thankful. Because we know that we, we got to go through this hell to get to the kingdom. And hey, it made the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai be done. It's not Esau's will, it's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's will. And also, too, Salakia, if you see this right here, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He, he's, he's Americanizing these so called illegal immigrants. And I wonder why. I wonder why this is happening. I wonder why he's doing this. I wonder why this is being brought forth. Hmm. It's, it's, a, it's all a part of the agenda. It's all a part of the agenda. So I don't want to rot this out, man. I hope and I pray that this is edifying, uplifting, and informative to the truth, sincere Aki and Wa Akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, 
Koho layim la. Abenawa Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai Bahashim Rekak Kwadash Watha Wada Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai Bahashim Rekak Kwadash for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down, for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want Ratazah until the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.